This is News Talk. Parking spots at Dublin Airport are booking out quicker than in previous years with the DAA struggling to get extra capacity ahead of what will be a very, very busy summer season. I'm joined on the line by Owen Corrie, editor of Travel Extra. Owen, good morning. Good morning, Pat. Um, Now, uh, this was to be predicted, I think, given uh, that the Quick Park facility is actually out of action. Yeah, pretty simple. There's no extra capacity available. We got through last summer. It was on a wing and a prayer. Uh, A lot of the key weekends were all booked out well in advance. Um, All the sort of incentives for uh, lower cost car parking were withdrawn by Dublin Airport. We're probably looking at a slightly busier summer and the amount of publicity generated by last summer and the fact that it's quite clear at this stage, we've only a few weeks to go, Quick Park would not be available for uh, commuters through Dublin Airport Mm -hmm. this summer. Now, the Quick Park people decided to sell up and they had a a process and DAA were the winners and then DAA were denied the right to procure this on the basis of a competition. I am baffled, on as to why they couldn't have acquired it under conditions of cost control or price control. Yeah, the regulatory process isn't really built for short-term solutions. That's what we've learned. It's also quite clear that Dublin Airport, uh, when they bought it, they weren't sort of beating a lot of people away. There is a shortage of bidders. There has been quite a bit of uh, behind-the-scenes activity to try and uh, get more interest going in the Quick Park. There are a couple of people interested. Uh, There's also the price consideration because uh, it's a little bit more complicated than a sale by a private bidder. It's been through the NAMA process. All of that is conspiring to make life a little bit more difficult for people coming uh, to Dublin Airport this summer. You know the way they they can control the number of passengers in the airport, uh, Fingal can and uh, the planners can control all sorts of things and there are noise regulations. For the life of me, I can't understand why they couldn't have had uh, some sort of parking regulation. So if you're in, uh, as they have at the moment, if you're in the short-term car park, you pay more than if you're in one of the uh, the, the far distant fields and have to get to the terminals by bus uh, and DA organise their own differential parking charges for that. But I, 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 I'm wondering why the Competition Authority could not have, you know, allowed them to get ahead given the crisis they have and, uh, you know, I- I employ price control. Uh, interesting enough, because when Quick Park was first mooted, there was a big sort of uh, suggestion, do we need competition and parking? It, it, that argument seems to have prevailed that to the extent that they're, they blocked uh, Dublin Airport owning another car park. Now, the blue car park, uh, the cheapest of all, uh, not less frequent bus services, uh, that seems to be quite bookable still through the summer. The real problem arrives with the red, which is uh, the nearest of the long term car parks. And as you say, there are the three or four short term parking facilities, including the surf, yep. par- surface car park and Terminal 2. The, we, I don't think we're going to change the mindset of the competition authority. It would be nice if somebody moved in and said, can we have a temporary waiver on this? Because yep. the Quake Park is in really good condition, Pat. Uh, you fly over it. There are a lot of um, r- r- flights taking off during winter where you have used the cross uh, runway in Dublin Airport. You fly directly over it. It could be up and running within a week. If uh, somebody uh, just says, let's do this short term, let's work out the long term implications for competition sometime in the future. By the way, Owen, you are well travelled. I mean, do they have parking competition in JFK? Do they have parking competition in Charles de Gaulle? Do they they have parking competition in Heathrow? In other words, do they allow different parking operators to operate different car parks so that they can have price competition? It's more common in North America than in Europe, but certainly it's it's becoming the norm that uh, people open car parking facilities and it's not handed over to an airport authority to run it all by themselves. Uh, The competition is good. It puts, uh, you know, it keeps... uh, airports from overcharging but the reality is um, the international pattern is it's not competition that decides how much you pay in a car park it's actually the supply demand situation yeah and we have an undersupply at the moment um, so that idea of competition is nonsense because whoever enters the market if their car park is going to be full they can charge what they like 
it it would need a few more car parking spaces. There are about 6,200 available from Quick Park when it gets up and running. But uh, we don't need a hell of a lot. We we got through last summer without a crisis. I would expect us to get through this summer without a crisis because the growth in passenger numbers is not going to be double digit. We also have seen, and this is very important for the car parking, a larger proportion of people using the bus services. <clears throat> Dublin Airport has become quite a bus hub um, with all the number of private operators at the moment. I know people who get a bus to the airport, not to fly out of the country, but to get a bus somewhere else. It's serving the pro- uh, the process that bus auras would have served for previous generations. All right, Owen, thank you very much for joining us. That's Owen Always Curry. a pleasure, Pat.